Hi everyone, what's up? In this video, I'm going to solve a PySpark coding question which is commonly asked in data engineer interviews. The question is, based on the employee data, find the median salary of each department. This question is mainly used to check your overall expertise with window functions. In case you want to know more about SQL window functions, then click on the playlist that is shown in the i button. In that I have covered all the SQL window functions using examples. Before we dive into the coding part, let's try to understand what median salary means. The median salary is a statistical measure that represents the middle value of a set of salaries when they are in a sorted order that can be either ascending or descending. If there are an odd number of salary values, the median is simply the middle value. Example, if there are salaries like 5000, 6000, 7000, so total 3 salaries, which is an odd number, so median will be the middle value, which is 6000. Now, if there are even number of salary values, example 5000, 6000, 7000 and 8000, so the median will be the sum of the middle two values divided by 2, basically the average of the middle two values. In this case, they are 6000 plus 7000 divided by 2 and we get 6500 as the answer. Now in order to solve this question, I have used a sample data. The link to this data and as well as the notebook is in the description. You can use them for your practice purpose. Let's go through the data quickly. So I have employee, department and salary columns and the result and the values are as follows. We have three departments in total, HR, um, IT and sales and for each and every employee, uh, the salary value is written for each department. Now let's try to understand how we can solve this question. First, I have created a window which is partitioned by department and order by salary in ascending order. Post that I have created a column called row num using the row number function. So row number function will give a sequence of numbers starting from 1. So as you can see this is the first window that is the HR window. There are three particular records here and the value of row num are as follows. The first record has value 1, then 2, then 3. After that I have also created another column which is count. So count is basically the count of salaries inside each window or each department. So in HR we have 3 salaries so the count value is equal to 3. Then in IT we have 5 total salaries so the count is equal to 5. And in sales we have 4 salaries so the count is equal to 4. So in this next command I have given the comparison between row number rank and dense rank. So this is not part of our main solution but if you want to learn this then you can refer this command. I have also created a dedicated video on this topic explaining what row number is, what rank is and what dense rank is along with all other window functions. So you can refer the link in the i button to know more. So coming back to our solution. At the start of the video I had told you that median salary for odd number of records will be different and median salary for even number of records will be different. If count is odd then we can choose the middle value as the median salary. If count is even, then we have to take average of middle value and the value that is next to middle. So basically I have to create two columns, one is middle and one is next to middle. Let's see how I can do that. The first column is middle which is nothing but uh, column count divided by 2 and I'm taking the seal value of it. Basically this, uh, this particular expression will return me a decimal number and I'm taking the first non-decimal number that comes after the outcome of this result. Example, in this window. The count is 3. So 3 divided by 2 will give me 1.5. So my middle values will be seal of 1.5 basically uh, 2. Now next one is next to middle column. Here I have applied a condition that if the count is of even number then middle plus 1. If the count is odd then it will be middle. So in this example as you can see count is a odd number that is 3. So your middle will be equal to next to middle. and in this particular example, as you can see, the count is even number. Then the next to middle will be middle plus 1, that is 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Now the question is why I am um, considering two columns. Basically why I am having middle and next to middle. Now if the count is odd, then I can um, easily um, use this middle position and tell what the median salary is. But for even count, I would need another column, basically this next to middle value so that I can take an average between middle and next to middle. So once I have these two column values, what I can do is I can just filter out this record based on the row number. So in the next command, as you can see, I'm doing 
if row number is equal equal to middle value then filter out those record or if row number is equal to next to middle then filter out those record so in the result you can see from hr uh, basically the first window where my count was odd so middle and next to middle was same so i only get one record that is this one and in sales uh, where my count was four which is even so next to middle and uh, middle value is different so i get two records that is these two so that's what you can see in the result for hr we have uh, one record I it was also of um, like it had odd number of elements so i again got single record and sales which had even number of elements so i got the middle two element that is 6500 and 9000 now once i have these set of values it's very easy i i just have to apply average on the salary column inside my department uh, window so basically i'm doing a group by on department and applying average on the salary column and the outcome i'm calling it as median salary so uh, average of uh, this salary that is 6000 is again 6000 average of 8500 is again 8500 now average of these two salaries will return me 7750 i hope you understood why i am doing this and how this median salary got calculated uh, basically what you can do is just try to read about median salary and understand what it means i have included some description in the notebook so you can download that and uh, practice it on your own to make things more clear now before i end this video i wanted to consider the case why rank and dense rank might not work so first let's take a look at rank so as you can see this is my data frame where i've also included rank and dense rank along with the row number column now in the filter condition instead of using row number i'm using rank so where column rank equal equal to middle and column rank is equal equal to next to middle so i'm filtering all these records now let's consider each window one by one so for hr window the next to middle and middle both are two so basically this particular value will be filtered out now in the next window that is it the uh, middle and next to middle is three but if you notice in the uh, rank there is no three here so what will happen because it does not find rank equal to three it will drop this it um, uh, this particular window uh, altogether now if i go to the last window that is sales the next to middle and middle is uh, two and three so here which are the two and three so uh, i think these two records will be returned now if i see the result as you can see the it department itself has been dropped so rank we can definitely not use for this example and for any other example in this median salary question let's move on to dense rank so here again in the in the filter condition i've done dense rank equal equal to middle and dense rank equal equal to next to middle so what happens is for um, hr uh, what will happen it it uh, included two rows both the 6000 6000 but that is all right because if we take average of these two then it again returns me 6000 as median salary which is the expected median salary based on this question but for it if you see the only record which it uh, filtered is 9000 because next to middle and middle is 3 and dense rank with 3 is uh, is only this particular record if i take a look at the combined data so in this window you can see the record with with dense rank equal to 3 is this one so it returned me 9000 as the median salary for uh, it but we know the median salary for it is 8500 so again dense rank doesn't work for this scenario now let's consider the last window as well so technically the median salary will be 6500 plus 9000 divided by 2 right so my next to middle and middle uh, value is uh, 3 and 2 basically it should pick uh, wherever dense rank is equal to 2 and 3 in this scenario these three record will be picked because um, judy ivan mac ivan chris so judy has dense rank 2 ivan and chris has dense rank 3 so in this particular scenario because of dense rank now the average will be calculated for these three salaries and if i go to the result as you can see it returned me 8167 while it should have returned me 7750 so as you can see we cannot use rank and dense rank here and row number is more fitting for this median salary question well that's it for this question i hope you understand how to calculate the median salary and again if you have not subscribed then please subscribe to my channel it really helps me uh, grow this channel and motivates me to make more videos every week so that's it for this video if you found it useful then please share it with your friends and like the video 
In the coming few weeks, I, will, I have planned many such videos on PySpark and SQL interview questions. So stay tuned for them. And if you have not subscribed, then please press the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.